guys, I'm Davey Wavy and I'm here with Clark Lewis and Bishop Black. Hi. We are playing True Confessions, which is one of my favorite YouTube obsessions at the moment, but we're doing a fun little twist, mm. which is this is the gay porn True Confessions. So we are making it X-rated, <laughs> explicit bitches. For your pleasure. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so we each have two porn situations right now, number one and number two. You'll read it. One's true and one's not true. We're not gonna know, but you have to sell it like it's the truth. Okay. So we're gonna have 60 seconds to ask questions about it. Okay. And then we're gonna determine, is it true, is it not true? So maybe Bishop will start with you. Okay. Do we want number one or number two? Ooh, I like number two. Number two? Number two. All right. Okay, let's see number two. Okay. <clears throat> I once did a scene. It was a religious. False. Give me a chance. I once did a scene. It was a religious scene, and after confessing my sins, I took the father's member on my knees until I threw up all over it from deep throating and gagging. So okay. this is a scene where you threw up. Yeah. What the idea is that like I was having this mouth to the point where like. I couldn't really what, like Was it on purpose, the vomit? It was purposeful. Did you eat something in specific that you wanted to throw up? No, not really. Did you enjoy it? Maybe it was the kink of it all that I actually really enjoyed, like gagging on someone's member and throwing up. Do we think that it's true or not true? I don't think, there's a high demand for religious vomit porn. So I think it's fake. I know that you're a good actor. And what you said sounded very convincing, but I think you're turning on your acting skills. I also think it's fake. Okay. So fake, you said fake. Fake, two fakes. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, okay. Oh, nice. just, it was fake. fake, it was fake. So we're right. Okay, good. Fake. Hey guys, Davey Wavy here. Spring has sprung and so have I, and I'm super excited about our spring sale at Himmeros.tv. You can get eight months of Himmeros.tv for just 80 bucks. That is $10 per month, and you'll get instant access to over 20,000 minutes of exclusive content, but you need to go to Himmeros.tv forward slash deal. That's Himmeros.tv forward slash deal. For Clark, what do you want? Number one or number one? Number two? I'll go for number one. Number one? Okay. One time I was filming a scene which was based around food and the top covered his cock in golden syrup and like very thick viscous golden syrup and made me suck it off and it was so sweet and so vile I, I threw up. Isn't that good? <laughs> <It's another thing. laughs> Did you throw up on camera? No, I ran off, off camera to throw up. Who bought the golden syrup? I bought the golden syrup. What studio was it for? It was for OnlyFans, Tyler Wu and Clark Lewis. Me. Did you still finish the scene? Uh, we decided to cut the scene there and then did a shower scene because like, we're not going to finish this scene. Mm -hmm. It was gross. After I threw up, they're like, we're not in the mood anymore, weirdly enough. I feel like that one was true. I am going to say it's false. It's true. Ooh. Yes. I had to kind of give it a little bit of content. Yeah. yeah. No, that was good. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you fake threw right. up. I will throw up. Yeah. Okay. Number one or number two? Uh, number two. Number two, let's go for two. We once filmed a scene with a guy using a cock ring and he couldn't get it off and it started to hurt. But he was in so much pain that the more it hurt, the harder it got. And we had to go to the hospital to cut it off. Oh my God. First question, what was the cock ring made out of? Stainless steel. No! <laughs> oh my God. Which is why we couldn't get it off. And in fact, when he went to the hospital, they tried to use the thing to cut your ring off, yeah. but it broke the blade. Oh no! Because no. the rings are usually gold, which is softer, and this was stainless steel. Uh, so how'd you get it off again? The woman who was working the night shift as the doctor, her husband's an engineer, and he brought his toolkit and cut it off. Mm, that's kind of hot. That brings it to another point. Yeah. <laughs> you, say, you say that's kind of hot. That feels very unsanitary for it, a hospital. You're like, hey, yeah, I'll just get my, my husband, you know, he works on cars, he'll bring his greasy sword. It was a small town. It was the doctor's first night on the night shift. Too. Oh, wow. So this is like a great way to get her feet wet. So I wouldn't trust that near a penis. You haven't got much control over a saw. He did get his penis was damaged in the process. How damaged? Like, just like a little bloody. So what do we think? I, 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 I don't see a doctor calling their engineer partner to bring a saw into an operating room to cut off a ring. You I don't think it happened? I don't think that happened. Okay. Just because I'm contrarian, I've got to say true. It's true. Yes! <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ow. And it was the more it hurt him, the harder it got. The harder his dick got. He had such a great attitude about it, like he was really like, because it could have gone the other way. Okay, so people want more of you guys. Please subscribe to my OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com. <laughs> <laughs> the Bishop Black. 
5,000 now, not 3,000. 5,000. You've evolved. Yeah, upgraded. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank, thank you for having so us. And as always, more to come.